Okay. Are you Jacob? Yes. Okay. Oh, um, but Jacob with a twist. Um, this Jacob is still Edward. Oh. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> what was the twist? Jacob on, was on uh, Team Edward. Yeah. Oh. Oh, very interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so Jacob, since you, how long have you, how long has it been since you uh, became, you know, could become a werewolf, you know, at, at will? Oh, well, um, on middle school, um, my parents used to tell me legends about wolves and stuff like that, but I didn't, uh, I thought it was just a legend. And, you know, because they like that kind of stuff, like, they like sit around a fire and tell stories, but um, it actually turns out um, when I turned 16 years old, um, they told me I was actually a werewolf, and I started uh, to discovering that I got some changes, and then huge changes, and then I became like furry, and I didn't know what was happening to me, and interesting that, that, that I'm a well wolf. Mm -hmm. um, how challenging, how difficult is it to be in a pack uh, where you hear everybody else's thoughts all the time? Is that, does that make you a little crazy? Um, my understanding is that you're, all the members of your pack, that you can hear what each other are thinking. Um, is actually Edward the one that can hear other people that's <laughs> Oh, so Edward can read your mind? Or you like to hear Edward's thoughts? Edward can read my mind. Oh, and you, if that's okay with you? Um, that is okay with me because I would like him to know how I feel. And how do you feel about Edward? I love him. <laughs> okay. But there is a problem. Um, werewolves and vampires have been fighting for years now. So. There's um, never been a case uh, of a vampire a, dating a werewolf. Yeah. Exactly. Of a, of a pairing or mating or that kind of thing. Yeah. So their family members um, wouldn't agree uh, with a vampire dating a werewolf. But you're good friends with Edward, though. I'm willing to fight for my love for him. Okay. Yeah. Do you think that once he recognizes your love for him, that his opinion will change about werewolves? Because I hear that they, that vampires think that werewolves smell like stinky old dogs. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. And he... Um, Actually, he saw me once uh, on my werewolf self, and he told me I looked like a dog, but I'm willing to forgive him. Okay. Yeah. So I take it that the, the thing you care about most is Edward? It's Edward, and mm -hmm. I believe in love stories, and I believe like if Romeo and Juliet uh, fight it for their love till the end, I believe uh, uh, me and Edward can fight for our loves, even though our families have uh, differences. What do yeah. you admire most about Edward? Well, um, I like his personality. Uh, it makes him more attractive. Uh, also, he's really handsome, so, yeah. Okay. Do you think that you're a good person? Um, no, I'm not a perfect person. Um, like, everyone makes mistakes. At, um, I try to um, attract um, Bella now, ca once, cause she was dating Edward. Edward is bi, and I am fully gay. Uh, I used to try to attract her to make Edward jealous. Ah yes. Yeah, but but, but, but did then I realized that Bella was, knows that, that was wrong. Knows that you're gay, right? Yeah, I told her now we're best friends. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you cry? Of course I cry. I cry all the time. I cry about. Life, I cry about unfairness. I will. I wish people, werewolves, vampires, get all along. We be together. Yeah. Yeah. What makes you angry? 
and justice that there is not enough for peace for everyone. Okay. Yeah. So you think that if you're united with Edward, that might change things, that there'd be more peace and less fighting? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think uh, our love can, can be an example for others too. Oh, yeah. that's true. That's very true. What's the worst thing that you've ever seen? The worst thing I ever seen? Um, well, um, at my school, um, I once saw that the uh, girls were making fun, fun of of their friend because uh, she uh, confessed to them that she liked other girls. So um, that type of stuff uh, mm -hmm. kept me on the closet for a long time. So any kind of prejudice makes you angry? Anything, if if it's color of his skin, if it's war uh, against vampires, if it's homophobia, everything makes me angry. Okay. I'm a fighter for equality. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Very good. It's good to hear. Uh, war worth pride. <laughs> Is there anything that you fear? Um, anything that I fear? Um, I fear um, Edward uh, will never be willing to fight for a rough uh, because of all the prejudice that is uh, from the vampires against the uh, werewolves. Mm. Yeah. It is and a they challenge. Are really, and they are really conservative vampires. Yeah. Not his family. Well, you mentioned Romeo yeah. and Julia, that's probably a good, yeah. good analogy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, when you die, how do you want to be remembered? I want to be remembered as someone that was willing to fight for love and someone that was always standing for equality. Yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah. Thank you very much for You're talking welcome. with us today. Yeah.